David protects the town of Keilah. First Samuel chapter 23 One day news came to David that the Philistines were at Kela stealing grain from the threshing floors. David asked the Lord, Should I go and attack them? Yes, go and save Kela, the Lord told him. But David's men said, We are afraid even here in Judah, we certainly don't want to go to Kela to fight the whole Philistine army. So David asked the Lord, Again and again, the Lord replied, Go down to Kela, for I will help you conquer the Philistines. So David and his men went to Kela. They slaughtered the Philistines and took all their livestock and rescued the people of Kela. Now when Abitha son of Ahimelech fled to David at Kela, he brought the epoch with him. Saul soon learned that David was in at Kela. Good, he exclaimed, we got him now. God has handed him over to me, for he has trapped himself in a walled town. So Saul mobilized his entire army to march to Kela and besiege David and his men. But David learned of Saul's plan and told Abita the priest to bring the epoch and ask the Lord what he should do. Then David prayed, O Lord God of Israel, I have heard that Saul is planning to come and destroy Kela, because I am here, will the leaders of Kela betray me to him? And will Saul actually come as I heard? And so will Saul actually come as I have heard? O oh Lord, God of Israel, please tell me. And the Lord said he will come. Again David asked, will the leaders of Kela betray me and my men to Saul? The Lord's and the Lord replied, Yes, they will betray you. David hides in the wilderness. So David and his men, about 600 of them now, left Kela and began roaming the countryside. Words soon reached Saul, and that, reached Saul that David had escaped, so he didn't go to Kela after all. David now stayed in the strongholds of the wilderness and in the hill country of Zip. Saul hunted him day after day, but God didn't let Saul find him. One day near Horesh, David received news that Saul was in the way, was on the way, that Saul was on the way to Zip to search for him and kill him. Jonathan went to find David and encouraged him to stay strong in his faith in God. Don't be afraid, Jonathan reassured him. My father will never find you. You are going to be the king of Israel and I will be next to you. As my father saw is well aware. So the two of them renewed their solemn pact before the Lord. Then Jonathan returned home. While David stayed at Horash. But now the man of Zip went to Saul in Gibeah and betrayed David to him. We now we know where David is hiding. They say he is in the strongholds of Horash on the hill of Hakila which is in the southern part of Jessimon. Calm down whenever you are ready, O king, and we will catch him and hand him over to you. The Lord bless you. Saul said, at last, someone is concerned about me. Go and check again to be sure of where he is staying and who has seen him there? For I know that he is very crafty. Discover his hiding places and come back when you are sure. Then I'll go with you. And if he is in the area at all, I will I'll track him down, even if I have to search every hiding place in Judah. So the man of Zip returned, ahead, returned home ahead of Saul. Meanwhile, David and his men had moved into the wilderness of Moan, at the Araba Valley, south of Jessima, when David heard that Saul and his men were searching, when David heard that Saul and his men were searching for him, he went even further into the wilderness to the great rock, and he remained there in the wilderness of Moan. But Saul kept him. But Saul kept after him in the wilderness. Saul and David were now on opposite sides of the mountain. Just as Saul and his men began to close, just as Saul and his men began to close in on David and his men, 
Just as Saul and his men began to close in on David and his men, an urgent message which saw that the Philistines were riding Israel again. So Saul quit chasing David and returned to fight the Philistines. Ever since that time, the place where David camped has been called the Rock of Escape. David then went to live in the strongholds of Angadi. This is the word of God.